Dear colleagues, you know, I just, uh, first of all, I want to thank my political group, European Conservatives and Democratic Alliance, for the possibility that Ukrainian is a spokesperson on this issue. But first of all, I want to speak now on behalf of Ukrainian people. That's why I'm here. That's why I left Ukraine, which is now frontline. I left my country less than almost 48 hours ago. And I can tell you that, you know, even now, when I hear the plane, I think it's a missile. This morning, I wake up with some loud noise on the street. I thought it was explosion. It was garbage taken from the street. Yes, we are traumatized. But, you know, when I was telling on this assembly for years that Putin is preparing this attack about plans of Russian Federation, some of you thought that I was crazy. And I'm not crazy now when I miss playing with missile. No, I just have experience that fortunately you don't have. And Ukrainians pay by their lives that you don't have this experience. But many of you thought that I was crazy. And some of you, one of our German colleague, told me that I am populistic. And I said to him, Frank, we will see. And we see now. So who is populistic and who was populistic? Speaking about Germany, I just want to uh, quote Timothy Snyder, who is uh, one of the best alive historians in the world. For 30 years, Germans lectured Ukrainians about fascism. When fascism actually arrived, Germans funded it, and Ukrainians died fighting it. That's truth. Maybe it's unpleasant truth, but that's truth. So I want to say not about some consequences, because nothing has finished. The war is continuing. Just on Saturday, me in my native city of Odessa, together with my three years old boy, I've heard some explosions just close to us. And then we knew that that was a missile attack of Russians, which took eight lives, in reality nine, because that was a couple, and the lady was pregnant, and a three months old baby with her mother and grandmother. Just imagine this. It was Orthodox Easter. I addressed to Greek, Romanians, Bulgarians, Moldovians, Georgians, Armenians who are here. This sacred day for all of us, for Orthodox religion. And the blood of newborns on the hands of a devil who is Putin, on the uh, erot uh, hands. So first of all, we need real sanctions against Russian Federation. Stop buying Russian oil and gas. Russian oil and gas is full of Ukrainian blood. If you pay 800, billion, 800 million euros per day for Russian fossil fuel, and first country is Germany, then Putin can afford this war forever. And at 1.30 we will have a public signing here in, near the hemicycle. I invite all of you to do this. Second, we need weapons. Weapons, and again weapons. And don't make this hypocrisy. Oh, this is defensive weapon, this is attacking weapon. We are defending our country. All weapons for us are defensive weapons and nothing else. And the last thing, I'm finishing. Just support Ukraine on our European path. If we are good enough, if we are good enough to die for European values, maybe we are good enough to be part of European political family too. Stop lecture us. Start helping us. Stand together, shoulder to shoulder, and we stop this evil. If we will not do this, he will go further. And you will also miss the sound of plane with sound of missile. I don't want this. Let's stop it now. Thank you very much.